G'day YouTube, Max Wright here, and today I'm um, not going to be into the charts, we're not going to be doing a lot of what we do normally in this channel, which is talking about uh, the, the price of crypto, making money out of crypto in the here and now. If you like that stuff, please subscribe. But um, what I'm going to be talking about today is privacy coins and some, some thoughts, my, just my thoughts about it, um, and I'll be sharing some uh, other people in the industry's thoughts about it, what's happening with privacy coins and what it means for Bitcoin. So uh, recently somebody sent me a letter and I'll just read it to you. Um, it was uh, one of the people that they follow uh, and it was, it was um, the crypto vigilante, uh, Jeff Bowick, a good friend of mine, great guy, massive respect for him. So um, let's understand all of that moving forward. But um, the, the crypto vigilante um, newsletter recently said that they're giving Bitcoin no more than two years till the ass drops out of it uh, and the price and it goes to very, very little because people want privacy coins. So he's basically suggesting there's gonna be a massive rotation from Bitcoin into privacy coin. And let me try and make his, uh, his argument for him. Um, although of course he does a great job, but he's not here. Uh, so basically they're saying that, yes, look, Bitcoin uh, has uh, privacy issues. It's nowhere near as private as we originally thought. Um, and there are certain exchanges blacklisting certain cryptocurrency addresses. Um, there are, and it's, it's, he's basically suggesting it is a surveillance coin. And um, you know, authorities and the IRS and different taxing authorities can uh, trace people's use of Bitcoin and other kinds of crypto cryptocurrencies that do not have this privacy feature. And um, so, with that surveillance, obviously comes a lot of information, comes taxing things. And once that's in place and more thoroughly understood, now they can do things like have special Bitcoin taxes. They might put a ninety percent tax on Bitcoin or something like that. And so I just wanted to uh, address that. I mean, reasonable thoughts, by the way, reasonable thoughts, not unreasonable by a long stretch. But the idea that Bitcoin would go to zero uh, or near zero from that, I think is not quite, uh, I, I disagree with it. I disagree with it. And it's not to say I'm bearish on privacy coins. Um, I own privacy coins. I think I'm bullish on privacy coins. There is definitely a place for them. But the it's, very, it's actually quite few people. It's certainly... Uh, it's more people than dollars. The vast majority of dollars do not want or need anonymity. Um, and that's kind of a little bit sad because we, well, I would love everyone to have anonymity because the more people who are anonymous, the more people who are anonymous. Let me explain what I mean by that. If you're in an ecosystem where you, uh, let's say you're using a chain where you can click a button and say, do an anonymous transaction. Um, but 90, you know, all the other transactions do not click that button, so they're all exposed, but you're anonymous. Well, guess what? You're not anonymous either because there was only one transaction unaccounted for and they could find out, you can deduce what it was. So it actually takes a lot of people wanting to be anonymous to be anonymous in a given a chain or ecosystem, something like that. But the vast majority of money, now I would suggest probably most people would probably want anonymity, but the vast majority of money does not want anonymity. Uh, as we're seeing, and it was pr perfectly obvious and predictable uh, with because it, it happens with every single ecosystem, but there are, you know, people are lazy, people don't want to do it themselves, um, and so they want to use institutions. They want to send off their money to Grayscale Trust. They want to use ETFs, which are coming shortly. They want to use, uh, Wells Fargo just announced they're doing, they're holding crypto for private clients. Chase Bank, uh, just a, so JP Morgan just announced they're um, holding crypto for their private clients. Most of the big institutions, so you know, you're a Fortune 500 company or you're a big pension fund or you're a whatever, who holds the private keys? Is it the CFO? Is it the CEO? Is it the CTO? Is it a combination? Is it multi-sig? What is it? And what we're finding is with all of those headaches and the potential for death and the potential for theft and all of those huge head headaches, people are putting their money into centralized institutions. Um, they're putting them into institutions like Gemini, uh, like BitGo, uh, like um, uh, Perpetual. I think it's a Perpetual? I think it's Perpetual. Is another one that does custodian. BlockFi does custodian and gives you an interest rate. Um, and we're just seeing money pour into those spaces. Now, the semblance of, the, of anonymity that Bitcoin had prior to putting your money into those institutions was something. But after you put the money into those institutions, forget about it. It's, it's done. You're toast. There is no uh, semblance of any kind of anonymity at that level. None. And so what, what you're seeing is people are very, very quick to... And again, I think it's more accurate to say dollars are more are very very quick to give up their anonymity all right your wealth is quick to give up its anonymity it's a relative small proportion of the world's wealth who are willing to 
um, who, who crave that kind of anonymity. And I'll go so far as to say it's even a little bit further than that. <clears throat> the reason to have anonymity is because you're escaping a surveillance coin slash high taxation coin slash there's bad stuff in that world. If people are spying on you and not doing anything with the information, then for sure no one gives a shit about uh, being surveilled, like most people, the vast majority of people and especially the vast majority of dollars. Like institutions often want to prove they're solvent. Nations, sovereigns want to prove their wealth. They, uh, you know, so, you know, anonymous transactions, big players, countries, institutions, they have almost no need for as anonymity. They, they need to prove to their customers they have what they say they have. It's the inverse. They're looking for ways to demonstrate their wealth. Okay, a little bit sidetracked there. So it's a small proportion of money that wants anonymity, even if it is a relatively large portion of people who want anonymity. And it's the amount of money that buying and selling that drives price, not the amount of people who want to use it. So an important thing to understand. Um, so I think there will always be a world for Bitcoin and it might be, I don't know, it'll be Fortune 500 companies. So, you know, the market cap will grow so that Fortune 500 companies is a place for them to store wealth. They, they need a place to store their money that's not getting inflated away, but they don't want anonymity. They want proof that they're solvent. They want proof that they're, they have their customers' funds. They want proof that they've got stuff on their balance sheet that affects their share price. They're not looking to hide it. So I think the, 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 the case is very, very, very good for Bitcoin. I think the world can have both. Now, on the side of um, privacy coins, I want everybody to understand the reason you're in privacy coins is to avoid not just their surveillance, but the consequences of surveillance could be high taxation, getting thrown in jail for not paying your taxes. And you're like, aha, I'm going to go over here to this privacy coin uh, or even uh, money laundering, even um, other things like um, uh, uh, drug trafficking, etc. You know, privacy coins are absolutely fantastic for that. I get that. But even if you're not in drugs and if you're not in money laundering, if you're just say, hey, screw you, I'm a sovereign individual, I don't subscribe to this taxation model of the world and I want out and I'm not paying my capital gains tax on crypto, screw you, capital gains is bullshit. You inflated the money and my actual wealth didn't change. What happened was you destroyed the value of the currency and now it appears I had a capital gain compared to my dollars. No, screw you, I'm not paying that. I'm going over here in privacy coin. Ha ha, you'll never know who I am. Okay, therefore... The users of the privacy coins are, they're, they're, they're doing it on the basis of that. Every single transaction, buying a cup of coffee, in actual fact should have been reported, should have had capital gains tax on it. And every single transaction you do with that privacy coin, it makes you a criminal. Now, in the eyes of the law, I'm not saying, there's, philosophically, you've got grounds to say, screw you. I'm not, I don't wanna make that distinction. But the reality is, at the end of the day, there are men with guns that will be looking for you. Rich people and institutions don't like that. They don't like doing that. The, we, we just, we don't. We, we, wanna be, uh, we wanna be able to sleep at night. Um, you, you, wanna be, you don't wanna live in fear that someday some, some jackboots and, and uh, men with guns are gonna kick the door down and take you away from your children. And so typically rich people don't do that. They're not gonna do that. And so again, we get to this argument where people might want money, but uh, money, sorry, people might want anonymity, but money doesn't want anonymity. And I, I'll say this next part, I don't want to say it with a, a cold heart or a, hard, or a harsh tone, because again, I have an enormous amount of sympathy for poor people, but the people willing to use, uh, the people willing to, to break all, all the laws and be on the, be a foul of the law and uh, doing that, uh, 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 A, you could argue they're courageous and heroes and champions of liberty. Absolutely, make that argument. Um, but nonetheless, there are people um, that have less to lose. They're, uh, they're generally poorer people. And I think the great promise of privacy coins and Bitcoin and the whole cryptocurrency space is it makes it easier for people who are struggling underneath the boot of totalitarianism to have an avenue, to have a, it, it gives them a chance to actually um, break the laws that are holding them down and have a chance of, uh, of evading the tyranny of central banks and all of that stuff. So I get it, but the people willing to do it are the people who are kind of at their wits end, who are sick of being uh, downtrodden 
and who uh, have nothing less, le- who, have, who, have just, who, have le- who have less to lose. And again, we get ourselves back to the argument where is it may be people who want privacy, but it's not money who wants privacy. It may be a lot of people with a small amount of money, and that adds up to a lot, which is why I am bullish on privacy coins. But I just, the, I guess the purpose of this video is to paint this, uh, another opinion there, that the, the, the concept that privacy coins are gonna take over and Bitcoin's gonna go to zero, I don't think that that, that assertion is correct. I don't see it. What I see is that institutions and other things as they enter the space actually prefer to go without the anonymity. They all have to publish their bank accounts anyway. They're all well used to it. They, um, they, they, have to, they have to publish everything. Even if they held a privacy coin, they'd still have to publish it on their balance sheet. They would still have to disclose it to everybody. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it's, diff- it's, it's, it's not a situation where privacy coins can send Bitcoin to zero. Um, yeah, I hope that helps. So uh, again, hit that like button if you like this kind of content. Let's change it up a little bit. And uh, let me know, are you in the uh, hit the like hit, hit, the, hit the like button before you even watch the video club? Uh, in the last video I made, I made that comment. It's like somebody said it. It's like I hit the bu- I hit the like button before I even watch the video. I know Max is going to give me gold. And so I asked the question, who's in the hit the like button before they even watch the video club? And the comments just lit up. It seems like there's hundreds and hundreds of people who just know that they're going to get great content from this channel. So I appreciate you guys very much. Go ahead and join the club. Smash the like button every single time you watch this video. And let me know, did you like my thoughts on privacy coins versus Bitcoin? Do you think I was accurate? Did I miss something? And, uh, you know, maybe maybe privacy coins has has less value than I'm suggesting, or maybe uh, Bitcoin has less value than I'm suggesting. But let me know if you think I'm on the mark with a balanced opinion here, or if you think one of the two is going to absolutely slaughter the other one. Okay, guys, I very much appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Dope. Extra seconds while I find the stop button.